Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me introduce you to Arthur Cummins, who has come up with the cool, cool, cool idea and now excellent business, Real Food Academy in Miami. By the way, all the contacts can be found in the link uh, to this interview. First of all, Arthur, bravo. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet you, Alex. Bravo, because uh, Real Food Academy uh, has received so much praise from our readers, uh, listeners, and viewers that it could rival Messi's move to Miami. <laughs> Uh, those, uh, you know what, no, tell those who are hearing about you for the first time what your business is uh, about and how did you come up with such a, an extraordinary idea in the first place, when, how, and why the company started? Good question. So I can't take credit for starting the company. It was actually my wife who did. <laughs> oh, and, no, uh, I don't know. So she gets all the credit for starting the company. Uh, do you remember 2008? I don't know if you were in this country. I remember. Yeah, I've been in this country. Yeah. Well, 2008 was a really difficult year. Okay. Yeah. Especially if you were doing any kind of financial services uh, or real estate. So the whole financial market and real estate market collapsed. Right. So at that time, my wife and I, we were heavily invested in real estate and financial matters and we basically lost everything okay we filed bankruptcy it was really difficult and i didn't know what to do with my life but my wife was invited to start a cooking class in a private montessori school and that's how the company started it was completely by accident and um that little cooking class became very popular with the parents and um they would ask can you come do a birthday party at my house and that's how our birthday party and business began. And they said, then a teacher would say, hey, could you come to my school and do a cooking class for my kids in my, in my class? And that's how our field trip business began. And so it happened like that, completely accidental. And during the first year or two, I was still trying to find my way. Uh, you know, I was putting on my suit and tie every day, trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. Um and nothing really came together for me. But during that time, my wife was getting all of this attention and everybody was loving what she was doing. And uh, she was asking me, can you please help me, you know, with the business? And I would help her send out an email blast or put together a website and this and that. Uh, but for the most part, I was not involved. But that's how the company started. So you're basically a lucky man. Very Don't lucky. Like that. Very, very lucky. And, um, you know, I, I think about that all the time, uh, how lucky we were, because out of a very negative situation, it has produced such a wonderful business that we just feel so blessed and fortunate every single day. But how did you uh, go from working with kids to working with adults? Also? Good question. So... So the parents were really in love with everything that we were doing, right? So then over time, the parents kept saying, hey, when are you going to have a, let us come and do a party with you? And when are you going to do a cooking class with us? And so, again, over time, this was just sort of a natural, you know, um, projection, the way the business developed. So we decided, okay, we'll start to offer the same services that we were doing for kids for adults. So that reminds me that the original name of the company was Cooking with Kids Miami. Mm -hmm. And it was, that was the name of the company until about, I think it was 2004. You know, so for the first like five or six years, it was Cooking with Kids Miami. But then when we started working with adults, obviously we had to change the name. And that's when we came up with the Real Food Academy. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I, 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 will, I will jump from question to question. Uh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. more interesting for for people, for listeners and viewers. Uh, I suspect you have some competition. How do you deal with it? How are yeah. you different? Okay, so so we do have some competition. Uh, we we are in a very unique space in the first place. Our business model. You know, as I said, we work with kids. We do kids' birthday parties on the weekends. We do kids' cooking classes. We do team building events for companies. 
Mm -hmm. uh, no. do field trips. We do we do a lot of different things. And so there are a handful of other companies that are doing something similar. But what makes us different than any of our competitors are so for example, if you're doing a kids cooking class, most other companies will just completely ignore the entire subject of nutrition mm -hmm. or how to eat healthy. And this is sort of central to everything that we do. So instead of just having the kid come in and make, you know, whatever, uh, whatever the dish is, we will show them this is a traditional way to make it, but this is a more healthy way to make it. And so, by the way, that was one of the things that kind of helped um, develop our brand was the fact that the kids were going home and all of a sudden eating a more healthy diet. Right. And the parents, you know, any parent would be happy to see that the kid is saying no to processed food, which is basically what we do. We contrast processed food with real food, which is how we got the name of our company, the Real Food Academy. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're always contrasting. Right. And uh, we've had a lot of success, not only with kids, but also with adults, because we feel that, you know, learning how to cook is important and it's fun and all of that. Uh, but learning how to eat correctly it could add years to your life and healthy years to your life at that so that's that's what makes us different we haven't found another company that does anything in that way tell us more about the programs please children without parents uh children with parents i i saw it myself when i when i was in miami um, during the winter time but there is a request from children yeah. can they i i am russian-speaking children can mm -hmm. they send moms or dads to you so they can finally learn how to cook? Because a lot of kids, especially Russian kids, complain. I know it's bad uh, if parents can cook but don't want to. But it's even worse if, if they uh, cannot cook but want to, as Robert Frost once said. So you, your question is? My question is, tell us about the programs. Because kids want... Uh, they cannot say to their parents, oh, it's kind of not, not delicious. Can you please go to Real Food Academy and learn how, how, how to do real well, yeah. stuff? Yeah. yeah, we do. We do, actually. We do every Thursday night. We oh. do cooking classes just for adults. Okay. And the, the menu changes from one week to the next. Um, so if somebody wants to learn how to make, you know, sushi or pasta or Indian food or whatever, they look at our upcoming classes, they sign up for the class or classes that they like, and uh -huh. they come and they learn how to make whatever dish they're interested in. So that's just for adults. By and the way, they, uh, how long the, uh, do the class last? Three hours. Three hours. Okay, three hours. so you have enough time for it. Yes. Since and you cook there and deal with uh, food and products. Yeah. I assume the proper authorities in uh, Miami is closely monitoring sanitation and other regulations. Is yeah. it right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have had some questions how how they supervise. Right. Quality of wise. I yeah. know what to answer, but I want you to answer. Uh, authorities are checking uh, the sanitary situation in uh, every business, which. Yes which does food yes this is the same with you of course yeah we have inspections here all the time you know uh that's what you're talking about like a health inspection type of thing yes of course yeah, yeah. yeah we so call it sanitary here yeah. yeah no they're actually of course they're unannounced right they don't tell you when they're coming of course they just show up and they and they inspect and we're very fortunate because it, it's actually one of the things that people notice right away is how clean the place is, you know, we, people always, if you look at our reviews, you'll say, oh, my God, the place is so organized and it's so clean and sanitary and everything like that. So um, we're I guess we're doing something right in that regard. And then we never had any problems with our procedures. We follow all of the rules, you know, to the T and we keep ourselves out of trouble with the uh, city of Miami. Excellent. Uh, back to the children's birthday and, uh, and other celebrations. Yeah. How many people can be invited so there is enough space for everyone and everyone is interested and comfortable? So we have a we have a very big space. I don't know if you can you can see it. Well, it's no, I was there. I, I know. I, I want you, you to answer. <laughs> they don't okay. believe me. You are the owner. 
Yeah, so we we have done, believe it or not, we did a kid's birthday party with 60 kids, 6-0, and all of their parents. Okay, so on that, and those are younger kids. So normally when younger kids come to the parties, not only do you get the mom, but you get the mom and the dad together. So that party, there was probably about 60 kids and probably about another at least 60 parents, so 120 people. But we have lots of room. Um, a typical, you know, I did a party last weekend. It was 40 kids and um, and it was at least 50 adults. So it was mm -hmm. about 100 and something uh, people here all together. But we have no limitation when it comes to the size of the party. We say Thanks. the big, bigger, the better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of celebrations with with adults if adults want to bring wine with yes. them is it allowed is it the okay? case yes. yes they're welcome to bring wine we do have a wonderful wine list okay so they can either choose from our wow. list right they can choose from our list if they want or they can bring their own wine and just like if you brought a bottle of wine to a restaurant corkage. you would pay a corkage fee right okay uh, but we think that we have a pretty wonderful wine list and it's a very fair price so most people don't bring wine, but they're welcome to if they want to. What about parking? Parking is free parking. Or we're surrounded by free parking. The only uh, the only place you would have to pay is if you park on the street. You'd have to put money into the you know to the application. But there's really no reason to do that because there's free parking. We're surrounded all the way around with free parking. Yeah. Uh, building on this undeniable success of uh, your venture, do you plan to evolve, or to grow, for example, create franchise? Yeah. So we In start... Chicago, maybe? <laughs> oh, definitely. Definitely. It's, it's not going to be our first place that we focus uh, because we feel like we want to take it very slow and have the new locations in florida so it's going to be easier plus, plus all the chicago moved to florida already <laughs> there, there you go there you go so i'm looking at about the first 18 months just expanding through florida and then after that then we're going to expand nationwide and definitely chicago will be one of our main places that we focus on this is of course great your idea you are in your wife's idea. Yeah. Uh, bring children together with each other as well, children and parents and parents, yeah. uh, and teaches them things that uh, will absolutely benefit them in life. Thank you, Arthur, uh, for such a marvelous and wonderful thing you are doing with your wife. And last two uh, quick questions. Uh, yeah. How to sign up? And uh, is there a membership? There's a, there's a membership for the kids, okay? It's a monthly, I think it's 79 or I should know, but 79 or $89 per month. And this is designed specifically for the kids that come every single week, you know? And there we have a bunch of kids like that. So in, in an effort to make it more affordable for the parents, we say just pay us, I think it's $79 per month, and then you can come to unlimited classes. And that's for people that come every single Saturday, Saturday, after Saturday, after Saturday, and that saves some money for the parents. But that's the only membership that we have. Um, everything else is um, available on our website. It's the realfoodacademy.com. And then for somebody who's interested in seeing the franchise uh, information, they could go to uh, realfoodacademyfranchising.com. Arthur, thank you very much for being with us today. And yeah, thank you for having me. All the information. Thank you. Thank you bye so bye. much. Bye. Say hi to your wife. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye.